Okay guys, so in this video we're going to walk through the proverb challenge. So let's get to it. For want of a horseshoe nail, a kingdom was lost, or so they say goes. Given a list of inputs, generate the relevant proverb. For example, given the list nail, shoe, horse, rider, message, battle, kingdom, you will output the full text of this proverbial rhyme. And here's the proverb that we need to basically output. And if we have a look at the tests themselves, you can see here that like the base case is that, okay, I get an array of nail and shoe, and then I expect to output for want of nail, the shoe was lost, and all for the want of a nail. And, oh, going low on battery there. And yeah, that's basically the structure of this algorithm. And as you can see, there's a few examples here. So if you run this code now, let's have a see here, then, Execute. Come on, execute. Maybe I need to plug it in. There we are. Awesome. There we are. And now we have power su supply as well. Let's get back to the code. So the implementation that I made was basically, okay, I get the list of these strings, right? And I'm supposed to return a just one string. So I create a new string and I start looping through all of the elements in that list and I grab I just unwrap I get from that list. I just get the element and I simply unwrap it forcibly because I, I know it's going to be there. I don't care about uh, I, I don't care about checking the optional. This is unsafe, but and I know that. But I, I feel, on, under the circumstances, I feel fine by doing so. But then I also get maybe the last element, and basically what this means is that I know that I is going to be there, but I don't know if I'm at the last element because if I'm on the last element, then I plus one is going to be outside of the bounds. So this will re this optional may not return. So it may not be a sum. It may be a none. And then I match against the, the maybe last, and basically, if there is, if I find that this is the last element, actually, or rather, it's not the last element, then I simply create a string where we have a new line with the get string function, and the get string function is just going to output next the next part of the proverb. As you see, this little template string I made here, a template function I made here. But if we are on the last element or the last word in the array, I'm going to do this instead. I'm just going to push the get final string with, with the element. But yeah, that, that's basically it. I'm going to get the first element as we saw earlier because that's what the, how the proverb works. So and all for the want of a pin. So the first element is going to be the thing that you include in the last in the last output. And that's basically what I'm doing here and all for the want of whatever. And then I, yeah, then I return the results. That's, that's basically it. It seems to work fairly well and have a great day.